Welcome to Ravens Over. Please subscribe to my channel, also hit the notification bell, and like this video and share. We all have a purpose in life. And when I was on my journey to try to change my life around, I hit a stumbling block for my purpose. Now, of course, in life has taught me so many different things and actually levels that I was not being prepared in my mind for, I was being prepared for. Black Lives Matter. Do black lives really matter when it comes to two-spirit people? Because it seems like two-spirit people get thrown to the side. We don't even become black anymore. We become less than. We have a purpose in life. We're here to help the ones that's coming behind us and to hold on and make strong the ones that's in front of us. Because we deserve a greater life better than most and we only ask our fair view. Let us do us while you do you. And love. Welcome to the show. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you. What's going on, people? Subscribe to my channel. It is the day of another day, of another day that we call Saturday. And it would have been said, what's going to people? Hopefully everybody's doing everything as far as being safe in this world. We're living in and knocking down doors and making your dreams come true and practicing ignore. Now, I want to give you the update reference to what I've been going through with the jobs and stuff like that. In reference to the rumor mill about me and stuff. Now, of course, it's kind of like a long thing, but I'm, it's kind of like going over it, but I'm sharing everything with you only because I want you to have an idea of my experience. It gets out that you can always compare, compare notes and stuff. So get your popcorn and wait because it's going to be it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to edit the video and then continue because I know I'm not going to um, do everything on this first one. And I want to share with you. Now, <sighs> Now, I always feel like everything we do is for levels and stuff. I feel like God is the creator, so God, God sent us on these different journeys and stuff. We're not the person that we pick this journey. We only go what God has sent us on to go to, which means that we are going to have to take a lot for the team. Select the few, many can't, many can, many can't, many can, many, can, many will, many won't. Excuse me. Some tissue. My nose is running. I have a cold. Well, it's like, so, this is the thing, prime example, okay, we go back to prime example, we always go back to other stories and stuff, now this is reference to, I just got these pants, these bitches are super tight, like, uh, I will not be wearing these again, sometimes I don't pay the bus shit for a dollar, anyway, so this is the thing, Going back and forth with dude trying to get me far and stuff like that because he was like, I didn't notice what you was. Oh, I'm crying, I'm crying. So he's crying to the open human resources. They look at him like, well, you know, what's going on with you? Like, are you like you like a spoiler, like a little kid? You don't know there are different people in the world. Like, where have you been in a, under a rock? You know, the world has changed, the world has evolved. There are different races, color, gender, whatever case may be. Where have you been? Oh, okay. Remember I said that. So, I guess with the other people, I don't know. I, I still haven't got the full Raven. feedback on investigations being done. Come here for me, babe. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, You're okay. okay, sweetie. So I still haven't got the full investigation that's been done yet. So it hasn't. The conversation still haven't got to me. Like why he freaked out? Okay. Okay, this is the thing. He and remember I told you before the slide back. It was a guy. And it was him, and it was a female black girl. Like this so You know, I love females. I have no problem with anybody, but I'm gonna tell you something. If me would have been in the frame of mind I was when the other trans woman did this to me, because it's a flash for it. Back a long time ago, a trans woman tried to get me set up by two guys to get me beat up. I handle it. This is this woman, and she better be glad that I've changed. Because I'm going to tell you something. Before I go there, it would have been a problem. It would have been a problem. Because my thing is this. When you're trying to do something for my life, there is a problem here with me. 
Anybody else would you want to run and you know, that's you. It would have been a problem. But due to the fact I've been doing these videos and have more empathy and stuff like that with a lot of people and stuff, I learned to just sit and relax and sit and still. Okay. So the thing is that clearly he wanted to get everybody on board, you know, basically, oh my God, I can't believe this. People found out, whatever case it be, I don't know, rumors spread, I don't care. Like I said before, I was inside of the van with three people and I did not know them and clearly something was going on which means that I could have been murdered in this van by her actions or trying to pump him up to basically attack me. And like my sister said, the only reason why he didn't attack me because I'm a big bitch and this big bitch look like this big bitch fights. So we'd have done some crack a lack of motherfuckers up inside of there. But it did catch me off guard. I was not expecting it. And I came there to work. I did not expect what I went through the first week there. It broke my spirit. It hurt my feelings. And I hurt and it bothered me so bad because I was trying to get up on my feet. And anyway. But it is what it is. So fast forward to today. We always we have this certain energy, me and dude, the crybaby. Me and the crybaby have this certain energy where some reason along the line, we still end up in the same places. No matter where we at, we always end up, no matter where we at, we always end up there with each other with no one around. No matter where we go, we, just, we always end up, we can go to back from Baptist Unifex, we're together. Snack foods, we're together. Anywhere we go, we end up together. It's not like he planned it or I planned it, it just happens. Well, I know I don't play. So, fast forward. Him seeing me and stuff. We're in the van and stuff. I don't know if much I shared with you before, but listen. We're in the van. So, we all, somewhere along the line, someone messed up, and he ended up in the van with me. I didn't care, because at the end of the day, him comes with me, if you know what I mean. So, the thing is about it is that we're in the van and stuff like that. When I tell you, dude was so happy. To be around me. I mean, he was smiling. I haven't seen him smile. I didn't even know he knew how to smile. Smiling. There was like a music. He's like, you want to sit here by me? I'm like, so, I mean, he was cheesing. All, all 24, whatever. And the thing about it is that I'm looking at him. And I'm thinking, because you know me, I have trust issues. And the thing about it is I'm watching him, looking at him, and he's smiling. You know, he wants to sleep. So, I ignored him. The guy was in the front seat. No, sit up here with me. I sat in the front seat of the van. Okay, the van is like shows about one, two, three, four, five, six, six people. So, it's not like it's just me and him. It's like six people in the van. So, that's why I came confused about how me and him when there's other people in the van. Okay, I don't want to confuse you. So, then I'm sitting in the front. So, the guy driving says, sit in the front next to me. Okay, I'm sitting in the front. I figured he figured that something was going on between me and him. It would just be cordial. We could be cordial, be adults, and just drive on through. Because as long as you don't say nothing, you don't say nothing, you work cool. All right. So me and the guy in the front was start talking about me getting a bus. So then he jumps it. Oh, you got to catch the bus? Okay. So now you're in our conversation. Immediately, I shut down. Okay. Something about me. Some of you already know. When I'm mad, I don't talk. I'm very quiet when you don't piss me the fuck off. When I don't like you, I don't talk. If, if, if I don't say nothing. I'm very quiet because I'm mad. And I know at this point, I have to be quiet. Because anything you say to me, I done reached. And I done... So I have to be a punk. I have to create a role in my mind of being less than, weak than, don't fight, you're a punk, you, you, you're submissive, you must submit. I have to concentrate to myself this, submit, don't start, don't start, don't start, don't start, relax. Okay. So, I'm looking at him, conversation got dropped quick, critically said, he interrated, interact, interjected in our conversation, I ignored him, I said nothing, he caught it, okay, grab a sample, next again. We ended up going somewhere again. I ended up going down another road and we had to park the car. He was right there getting out the car. We're together again. He's like, how can I help you? He comes to the car, Matt. How can I help you? Oh, but I thought you said, I don't want to be next to you. Oh my God, you're not a girl. I don't want to be around you. I can't be around you. 
I you run the human resources on me and here it is, you're in my face again. Can I help you? I said, No, I, I'm trying to figure it out. She looks at me smiling. What is so funny? What 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 what's what's funny? Like, yo, I you, you we're not good. We're not good. Like, listen, you show me who you are, I believe you. We're not good. I don't give a fuck if you attracted me, you may like me. We're not good. We're never gonna be good. Cause I know what you did. And the thing about it is that I can hold a grudge forever. And when you go to that degree, instead of you going after the person who said it, you felt safe to attack me. You wasn't mad enough to fight the person who said it about him and I. You came after me. The person didn't know what the fuck was going on. I'm oblivious to the whole thing. But you came after me. And I have a problem with that. Okay. So that happened. We end up again together. He comes to the car. I'm quiet. I'm mad. I don't want to say it. My thing is this, they found out that we was in the car together, they, they snatched them out, they said they can't be in the same car together, okay, they took them out. But he's been slowly, hey, you know, the other guy who refused to tell the truth, when it all came down, the driver, he decided he wants to speak to me too. Now he wants to be friends, hey, how you doing, how are you, I'm quiet, I'm like, I'm going. I'm going to tell you, let me tell you, I don't have time for the bullshit. And if you tell me who you are, show me who you are the first time, I believe you. Now, I always try to ask myself what happened to my sisters, how they got murdered. And I always ask God to give me an answer why. And I guess I'm getting the answer why. Be careful what you wish for, you just make it in. Now, I can see myself being murdered inside that situation, inside that truck, car, the truck. Because I was oblivious to the whole thing. I had no idea what was going on. Okay. Fast forward once again. Now, the room is spreading around the place and everybody wants to see who I look, but it's not everybody knows. Everybody still don't know. I thought they do, but no. I don't know whether the room has got shut down more or not, but everybody definitely don't know. That's for damn sure. Because the one girl was talking about her cramp, so I know she ain't know. So, I, it's, it's definitely not. Whatever it was, they shot a lot of it down. I don't know. But anyway. So... He's been slow. When, when he comes into the office, he always looks for me. He's always... And, th and this is the thing about it. Some of you the way he's trans attracted. I'm not trans. Trans mean you're a man. You might as well say I'm a dude. That's what that's what trans mean. I'm telling you. That's all that word means. I'm a man. That's all it means. Y'all gonna wake the fuck up on that word. My thing is this. If you want to call me what I am, I'll, I'll treat you as what you want me to treat you as. But my thing is this. That's all that means. Y'all gonna learn about that and renaming your ass like slavery and shit. But y'all gonna learn that when it comes time. I'm not, I'm a male or female motherfucker. So if you can't pick one or the other, then fuck you. My pronouns are, where's your money? Give me some fucking cash and get the fuck on my face. The back is a part of you is the back of your head. Get on my fucking door. Anyway, stay focused, okay? So, the crybaby says up there, stuff like that. You need this, you need that. I'm looking at him. So dude, this, the dude that was the driver, okay, you should remember, dude was the driver that was inside the car that could have cleaned up everything but the girl attacked me in the van. He refused to say anything because this is his woman. He has to respect this cis woman, you know. And the reason why I'm not speaking to him, because the civil fact of the matter, once again, I could have been killed. And he would have co-signed for her actions on attacking me when I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. So he is just as bad as her to me because if I would have been murdered and I told y'all this video all y'all would have heard was I tricked him I got what I deserved and that would have been it so I'm sitting in front of you sharing with you I had no idea what the fuck was going on the conversation I had with the car baby was get that car over there get the car over there that was it it wasn't about relationship it wasn't about you seeing somebody it wasn't about you single none of that so how the fuck I got here, I do not know. But I was in the dark of it, but I'm going to tell you something. So dude, how you doing? He know you're wrong. But I don't, I don't do surveys on how you feel about the whole thing. No, motherfucker, you good. Because I'm not into backpedaling back. I got enough backpedaling men in my life now that ain't shit. But I'm fucking them. But I ain't fucking him. So the thing about it is that, for example, so she's up there to say, well, you know, she has a problem with you because you're pretty. Yo, listen, I appreciate the compliment. I don't see myself that pretty. I don't see myself with everybody. And I get it. 
whatever they call it, you don't see yourself, or whatever that word is. Anyway, I don't care. My thing is this. When my life is at speed, when people are attacking me, I don't give a fuck about how pretty I am. I'm about survival skills. I'm not looking for number one to show up, or number two to show up, or the cavalry to show up. I'm going to be number one, I'm going to be number two, and I'm going to be number three. And it is what it is. My thing is this is that I've been hell and back. I could teach you everything I learned while I was there. And that since I'm in the belly of the beast, I feel like I'm at a job that should be called prison. Because at this time, I need to watch my back on everybody. When I have a conversation with someone, when I walk away, or y'all running behind him, yo, by the way. But I don't think that's true either because the men are still coming. And the thing about it, and I hate to say this, I kind of wish the rumor got out about me. Because it would stop a lot of men from coming. But I, I have to realize one thing. Men are going to do what men want to do. They don't give a shit. They're going to be the ones that's the cowards like the cry baby. And they're going to be the other ones that's going to stand in front and say, I don't give a fuck. But then there's the other ones that just said work. Like me. We don't care about the relationship. We come to work. We don't fucking want to be there. We're trying to work to get some money to pay fucking bills. And these motherfuckers trying to interact into our lives and make the conversations about them and you. And you don't even know that. Okay. So... I met a few more men. I hate it. I know some of you like go baby, that's a good thing. It's not a good thing to me. Cause there is a great area. He's thinking he's about to fuck a female. And at the end of the day, I know what I am. And I I I, I co sign for what I am in a super baby. You just say, No, I, I know male or female. Is it the war in or for me when I say that. When it comes to sexual, when it comes to relationship, when it comes to something more intimate within getting in this setting, then I know where it stands. But when it comes to paperwork and the stuff of great money, when it comes to stuff my paper, I'm not gonna stop my paper for that word. Cause that word stops your paper. You didn't grow up from a little girl or a little boy with a case of being said, well, I'm gonna grow be a trash, you know, but you grew up saying you're gonna be a woman, period. That's what every every girl comes here differently and stuff and then I get it. Some girls feel like, well, women are very strong, so I want to be a woman, that's what be that ain't my story. I feel like a bitch. That's what the fuck I stand behind. That's what I was, that's what I am. I pronouns my, I, I, I just know myself female. At the end of the day, I know what it is, what it is. I don't have options, want to stand the fuck up when I piss or sit the fuck down. When it comes to collecting my money, get my paper, it's female. Because once you say trans, you might as well say man, because that's in the goddamn day, the whole conversation and stuff, and they looking at you funny. And a lot of times, none of them want to interact with you. They treat you like fucking diseases. They think you're disgusting, or you become a comedy show, and unfortunately, you are the fucking joke. And at the end of the day, once you walk at that fucking door, everybody's talking about you. They're calling their friends up, laughing at you for trying to live your life in your truth. They tell you to stand in your truth. When you stand in your truth, they're just like set up to make you just be attacked. So I don't do the society thing, clearly. And the thing about it is that when it comes to me, I'm a humble person. I'm not a hateful person. So I love people. So I have to pull back on being nice to people. I have to pull back. And the females that are coming, there's a lot of females. A lot of females. Well, I never had a problem with females. Just that one. But I understand when it comes to females, they're always a bad bunch. A bad female in every bunch. Like it's a bad man or a bad two-spirit one in every bunch. It's always one that starts shit up. Passive aggressive, start shit and running, going, What did I do? What did I do? The men are still coming, the females are still coming, everyone's circling around me, everyone's giving me love. I don't trust anybody, period. I appreciate it, but I, I, I'm good, I'm quiet. I feel like I have to be aware, and a lot of them already know what's going on. Some of them I talked about it, I told them, This is this really fucked up. A lot of them don't like it, they got upset. These are black women and Spanish women. It's like it should be like that. But the thing about me is that I, I, I appreciate the thing, but the only thing that makes me the worst about me is my anger management. I have to take a lot of L's because I know I'm not an arguing person. And if I'm on 10 and you coming at me trying to be funny, I'm gonna go on 11. And I don't wanna interact. It is so funny when you are trying your best to change into something greater, something bigger, change the nasty attitude, not nasty, but if you fuck with me, I'm going to handle you attitude and become more submissive, become more of a punk, become more of a person that goes, you know what, let me just walk away. They don't let you, sometimes people don't really allow that, you know what I mean? So when you come to the point, you're like, okay, I'm just trying to walk away. Just please let me walk away. Because I, I, I really, I really, I really, I really not going to be ready for this. And neither will you. 
because I know what's going to happen. Big Bad Raven, the jump on this motherfucker, the bitch is laying on the ground crying, he comes to family, you didn't have to kill him, oh my god, why did you do this to my baby, you fucking this neck. Yet and still, he came up on me, I protected myself, at the end of the day, the story changes when it comes to us, now all of a sudden, the motherfucker going to the funeral, family fuck upset with you, because you'd allow her son to kill you, so she go put money on his books, because she's like, I understand, baby, but yet and still, you're upset with you, because you didn't train your motherfucking child right way, and there are different people in this fucking world, and you didn't train him or her the right fucking way, and at the end of the day, your child got what they deserve. Period. Point blank. So don't fuck with people. Period. Point blank. Leave people to fuck alone. Because when it comes to my life and you're trying to take it because you have a problem with me existing, I have to fight for my life too. I'm the biggest punk you ever see walking this earth. I will walk away from you quick as hell. But a lot of times y'all grab me, y'all, I'm not allowed. And once you do some of this, I'm already you know. You already know. Not saying I can't get my ass kicked because I can't, but at the end of the damn day, how much pressure can you put on somebody's head to obey a person that don't give a fuck about them? So I become very angry. So I say submissive. I stay quiet. They said, why do you always eat lunch by yourself? Because I don't trust y'all. I'm in a relationship with the man I don't even know. Y'all got me all fucked this up for my And I'm standing your conviction. You did what you needed to do. You want to go after somebody, you did that, accomplish. You want to hurt somebody, you did that, that's accomplished. You want to make sure you make somebody feel less than, you did that, that was not accomplished. Because the thing about it is that I think that a lot of times when people think about me, they think I'm some weak, poor little submissive person that basically don't know how to deal with things. You always act like you're so scared. No, it's not that I'm scared. It's not that I'm scared. I appreciate the fact you analyzing me. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm a little worried for you, but I'm not scared for me. I'm a little worried for you. I'm a little worried for you, but not really worried, but a little bit. <sighs> I have conversation with guys, stuff like that, the, the guys that, um, that love the girls like us, and they think about it, like, well, you have to understand where he's coming from. I don't have to understand the fucking thing about him. I don't have to understand another thing about a man that wants to have a relationship or fuck me or be with me. I have to understand shit. See, this is the way y'all get the game fucked up. I choose you. You don't choose me. I choose you. You don't choose me. So if I decide to choose you, it means I'm about to go through some fucked up shit about your fucking ass can't deal with your truth. And here it is, I gotta be able to deal with all the fucking shenanigans and the bullshit and the baby mamas and all the extra shit that's gonna come with you. I have to be ready for that when I choose you. And I ain't ready to choose you. Because I got enough shit in my life that's already fucked up. And I don't need you bringing your shit in there too. And I also don't need nobody to understand how a man feels when he feels as though he's been bamboozled. First of all, I'm not even that fucking passable. Second of all, it's not that fucking serious. If I went after every fucking body rejected me, it'd be a lot of... Anyway. I'm not a note. Like I said before, the men are still coming. Six eight. I didn't know men is that tall, but they've been around. Six eight, six nine, taller, taller, taller. I'm getting them up here. And no, they don't know. Some of you say, "Well, Raven, they know." No, they don't know. Trust me, you won't set me up. Cause a lot of times, y'all girls say that. Y'all say these girls don't get them killed. Oh, girl, they know. He ain't know. Cause cis women don't look like women. And here they look at a woman with titties and all this other shit going on. And you tell them that's not the real deal without the makeup. Come on. So stop telling people they're blind and they don't be fucking knowing. You know, and that's the thing. I just wanted to share that part with you because obviously the, the room, the, the shift in the room has changed. Now they want to be my friend. Now you want to have conversation with me. Now you... And the weird thing with the crybaby is that he can't, he can't take his eyes off me. He just can't. Whatever he's doing, he'll just stop in his tracks. Remember, I don't want Raven working around me. I want Raven to stay the fuck away from me. I want to be far away. That's what you went to Human Resources and told them. You wanted me the fuck away. Then you ran off out the damn place crying like a little baby. Okay. So you ask for it, you got it. We good. Don't interact back. 
this is the thing, and this is no disrespect to any two spirit men that's attached to us. Some of y'all got the game fucked up. Y'all think y'all the only fucking ones that hit us up. When you a bitch, you got a lot of men hitting you up. And for sure, you got women hitting you up. But I'm going to stay focused on the girls like us. We get a lot of men hitting us up. So don't get yourself on the path of like you feel like, you know how y'all like to send the dick pictures as if you throw the worm into the water, whoever it takes to be, that you'll pull out. You got a man, in other words. When I hear that thing, you got a man in me. Do you have an owner? Do you you want an owner? You like go to pet the store and you pick up a dog. You want an owner? I want to be your owner, owner. Which means that that's what I hear when I say you got a man. That's all I hear. A dog looking for an owner. Ain't nobody looking for no fucking owner. Happy motherfuckers ain't any about shit. Ain't trying to do shit. Looking for the next bitch that you think got shit. So you can come up and have your life with another bitch. By you using love to trick us in a relationship. Just to only be played the fuck out and didn't hurt. <clears throat> You're not standing with us, not all of y'all, but you're not standing with us, you're not fighting with us. But I understand in our part, on our fault on y'all, we don't have to, we have to understand that we have to, you have to accept, we have to have time to accept your transition too. Because now you're in our world and the names they're calling us is now they're calling it to you. So I get that part. I get it. But I'm going to tell you what's a strong bitch. A strong bitch is when they call you shit and it don't even bother you. And that don't bother me. They just say everything about me they could possibly say. Everything they could possibly say to me to break me. Can't break me. Because I have to care about you in order for you to break me. You ain't breaking me. Anyway, I just wanted to share this as far as the update. I know it's been a minute. I have not been really online. I've been really tired. I've been working 12 hours, 12 hours, 12 hours. I really haven't had time to myself. When I do get time, I just rest. I try to get, keep y'all proactive in what's going on in my life so I don't miss nothing. So forgive me for taking too long. Like I said before, subscribe to my Instagram. You can see more when my life is going more faster. You can see more. I share a lot of things more quicker without the makeup, of course. But you see more of me in the raw. It's right at the top. You go to the top, you'll see it right there. Subscribe to my channel on Instagram. If you, if you follow me, I'll follow you back. My health is still going bad as usual. My pressure's still up high. I don't understand my surroundings as far as my health. I'm still submitting as far as trying to hold my anger in and my body's reacting. Yes, I'm having bad nose bleeds. Bleeds. Yes, clots and clots of blood is coming out of my nose. Yes, I'm trying to keep my pressure down. Yes, I'm trying to stay away from a lot of negativity and toxic things. Yes, I'm walking away from things. No, I still don't have a doctor. No one knows how to treat me. As if I'm this specimen for out of space. But through prayer, I believe in all things. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. Please be safe on this Saturday. Comment below. And if you love this video, share this video every way you can. We have to let people know how we ended up being murdered. At the end of the day, not in all cases, but at the end of the day, this could have been a very different story. This is the reason why I'm sharing this with you. Because if things would have go the way that girl was trying to pump him up, to attack me, I would be standing there for in front of you sharing this video. All you would have heard, if you cared, that I was murdered for tricking a man. And I hope y'all got enough sense to know that that would not be me. I don't trick anybody. I have no time to be pulling down my pants for no motherfucking body weight about shit. And at the end of the goddamn day, if I'm pulling my pants down, it's because the motherfucking money's on the count. Call me a hoe, but call me, don't call me stupid. At the end of the damn day, I don't give a fuck. You ain't coming here to give me nothing but a fucking disease or come inside my fucking garbage can as you go home to your family. You don't give two flying shits that I'm crying, have dead inside, or, and, and just trying to survive. Not all y'all. Some of y'all do really care, and I love y'all for life, and my little baby sisters, I love y'all even more so, because y'all stay in my ear, you know, your big sister falls down a lot, and I'm not perfect, which y'all already know, but anyway, I just want to share this with you as far as the update, and basically, the men are still coming, there's more men, there's pack of felons, so you know the felons are really on me, checking me out, they all into it. And I'm sure they probably know, which means I'll be getting a whisper. Or a phone number, which I won't be taking. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. As far as the update, things have shifted. Have a safe Saturday. Comment below, like this video, let you I love you, and thank you for watching. Kiss the rain.
His heart being me His heart being me Be me His heart being me His heart being me His heart being me encouraged you helped you made you see things a lot more different comment below share this video where you can to stop this instagram button if you follow me i'll follow you back i like to consider myself a two-spirit woman that basically got away to tell the story of what they've been doing to our sisters i wanted to share this message and i want you to share it all over the world so let them see that our sisters are real comment and share this video love you love you